Do you use a solar stencil to paste solar paste on your circuit boards? You should really check out this video. I will be showcasing this box that I made. I'm calling it the magic box because it works magic on getting really good paste even though you might be a beginner. Now let me show you how it works. And that's how it works. Or, okay. So this is me just giving my own fake commentary to my own video. It's like a nice lazy way for the critic and me to add a voiceover to this so I can release it. But there's one thing you're forgetting here now, Myers. It's... And this video is also sponsored by DLC PCB. Okay. PCB goes in there. It, yeah, it's loose. It's not to hold down. And then you bring out some solder paste. This looks very old and dry. And then you bring out the vacuum cleaner. Add the stencil. And uh, yeah. Oh, okay. So when you put on the stencil and you push it down, it stays if you have the vacuum cleaner in or else it's just springy. Oh, yeah, because there are some three different springs here with hair. And the lid goes on top. Okay. Turning on the valve releases pressure, so it's easier to move the stencil around. And let's get that paste on. Oh, that's some nasty paste. Okay, closes the valve, probably to hold everything more together. Now just one wipe. What? Two. Three, four, what? Five, six, uh, seven, eight, and then at the wrong angle. Great. This is probably going to look really nice. Oh, that's cool. It kind of pops up. Yeah. And you can. Sure. Okay, remote control vacuum clear. Interesting. And then you lift up this. This is probably not going to be. <laughs> this is probably not good. Yeah, exactly. So here's a, probably another try. Okay, so at least one. And then the wrong angle again. Okay. So this were like two strokes. Oh. Okay, so this is probably the, the, the best one. This is not that bad if this is actually the real thing. It seems like it has spilled out a little, but I can clearly see the solder mask between the small. Oh, so this was the good one. Okay, so this is not bad, but this is probably not real. It's probably just some other image. Or like the hundreds tries or something. If you, oh, so this is a bigger one, a bigger box. And it's in Fusion, Fusion 360, change some parameters and the box grows, okay. And yeah, okay, get that. That's how the big box was made. And this is probably a bigger box. Okay. I can also see some holes at the bottom. It's probably to hold the box down. Yeah, the nice snug fit. <laughs> yeah, let's keep it in the center. Okay, so that's, this is the lifter. Okay. Yeah, and you can also change the PCB size, obviously. Okay, this is obviously another PCB. But what if you just want to use a small one? Okay. Yeah, you just make something like this. Obviously, you have to reprint everything. 
Okay, so it looks nice, but it's probably fake. Oh, it's probably over. Probably say something dumb at the end. I'm not sure. You should really try this out and see if it actually works. And just write something in the comments if it works. Oh, so this is a bigger stencil. Yeah, yeah. That's it for this video. Halubra. Obviously. Yeah, go check it out for yourself. If you want to try, see if it works. If it works, leave a comment. If it doesn't work, make fun of it in the comment. Say it's a stupid idea. You probably have a better idea. Better ideas? Write it in the comment field. Hit that like button. Or unlike button if you don't like it. Enough with the begging. I'm out.